Hi. Good. Good. Hello. How can I assist you today? Today, I like to practice two sentences I learned from you. The first sentence is that uh, I am I am walking outside as usual to enjoy cozy and warm atmosphere. The second sentence is these walks these walks are these walks are uh, I don't remember. Great, let's practice those sentences. The first one is, I am walking outside as usual to enjoy a cozy and warm atmosphere. How does that feel when you say it out loud? And for the second sentence, it seems like it might be incomplete. Yeah. Uh, could you provide the rest of it or, le or let me know what you want to express with it? Uh, uh, these walks are the way to unwind and recharge. Got it. So the second sentence is, these walks are a way to unwind and recharge. Try saying this one out loud too. How do these sentences feel when spoken? Do they convey what you wanted to express? Yes, uh, the first two sentence, I'd like to know the meaning as usual, 평소처럼. Uh, so, and the second sentence uh, is focus on unwind. Uh, so I need to know the word and want to use the uh, the word unwind to unwind and recharge. Sure, let's break down the meanings. For the first sentence, as usual, means something that is part of a routine or habit. It implies that walking outside to enjoy a cozy and warm atmosphere is something you do regularly. In the second sentence, unwind means to relax or reduce stress. So these walks are a way to unwind and recharge suggests that these regular walks help you relax and regain energy. Does that regain help clarify energy. the meanings for you? Would you like to know more about how to use unwind in other contexts? Yeah, it's enough. Uh, and I need to learn regularly uh, on daily basis. Consistency is the most important when it comes to learning languages, I think. That's a great approach. Consistently studying every day is indeed key, especially when learning a language. Immersing yourself in the language, whether through reading, speaking, or writing, helps a lot. Are there specific aspects of language learning you're focusing on right now? like vocabulary, grammar, or conversational skills? I'd like to use you to teach my children. And a lot of parents in Korea spend a huge amount of money on uh, extra curriculum courses, which is called Hagwon. But, uh, Using me to teach your children can be a creative and cost-effective approach. Many parents indeed spend a lot on education, especially in places like South Korea where academic success is highly valued. I can help with language learning, answering homework questions, explaining concepts in various subjects, and even with fun educational activities. What subjects or areas would you like to focus on for your children's learning? Uh, the, the first thing you could help us is English and you can t teach, we can learn English from you very effectively. And I try to use uh, efficient ways to use, uh, use you as an English tutor. It is very important and it can reduce the, the, reduce the amount of money. And the second, second subject I I like to focus on is math and other other subjects. Math is the is very important to uh, subject and uh, parents are all, also focusing on on the that subject. And I can I 
need to find ways to uh, utilize, use you. That sounds like a solid plan. Uh, for English, we can work on vocabulary, grammar, conversation, and even reading comprehension. You can ask me to explain concepts, provide examples, or practice dialogues. For math, I can help with explaining mathematical concepts, solving problems, and even giving practice questions to make the most of this for teaching your children. One, English. You can bring specific topics or questions. For example, if they're learning about past tense verbs, ask me to provide examples. For conversational skills, you can have mock dialogues with me. Math, share the topics they're learning. I can help solve problems and explain concepts in a way that's easy to understand. Remember, regular practice and exposure are key in learning. Feel free to bring any topic or question and I'll do my best to assist. Is there a particular topic in English or math you want to start with? I'm not sh I I can say for sure yet, but uh, I use uh, my textbook uh, my, my, and I will use 언어를 보충적으로 사용할 거야. 그런데 이제 점점 그리고 너의 사용 빈도를 더 늘려서 너의 그 비중이 더 크도록 말, 말, 만들 거야. 이거를 영어로 해주고 코멘트도 해줘. That's a great strategy. Using me as a supplement to your textbook supplement. can enhance the learning experience. By increasing the frequency of use, you'll be able to cover more topics and reinforce what's learned in the textbook. Feel free to bring any content from the textbook that you'd like further explanation on or any specific topics in English you want to focus on. Whether it's grammar, vocabulary, or practice exercises, I'm here to help. Um, whenever you're ready with specific questions or topics, just let me know and we can dive right in. How do you plan to start this learning journey? Any particular topic or chapter you're looking at first? I need to look for topics. Okay, uh, today let's call it a day. I need to go to bed and take care of my children. See you tomorrow. Exploring the topic of Earth Day is a fantastic idea, especially for teaching kids about the environment and our planet. Earth Day is all about raising awareness of environmental issues and promoting steps to protect our planet. Here are a few ways you can introduce this topic. I will call it a day uh, and I need to go to bed and take care of my children. Goodbye. Sounds like you've had a busy day. Have a good rest and take care. Goodbye and feel free to return whenever you need assistance or have more questions. Good night.